Good morning, YouTube friends, subscribers. JW Solar USA. Final results for the battery desulfeter today. And this machine has been doing a pretty, pretty good job. With all my tests, you guys can go back and check the videos there. It's over approximately over three weeks now, I suppose, to a month. The sulfeter is doing an awesome job these are the readings for the um the two batteries i was um trying to maintain here or trying to um i was trying to desulfate and it has been working good i don't have any problem with the desulfator my desulfator works and it has been doing a good job for me you can compare it to um, um, the battery extra uh, uh, um, website and uh, what they said about this machine. And this is what this machine has done for me. You know, I'm not talking about other people or how it works for them. But I'm talking about myself. The diesel fitter, it works. With this 255 amp hour AGM batteries, which is the WKDC 12 55P, it has worked these batteries and is um, sorry, they fixed these batteries. These batteries can run again my 24 volt Kotec Pure Sine Wake Inverter 1500 watt which I'm going to be showing you guys pretty soon. This is the charge from um, when putting the charger on it. Just to show you guys the voltage for, and it reaches the 30.8 volt that the battery um, requires for 24 volt charging system. Because all batteries are different. Some of them start at 12, uh, 12 30 volts it's 30.8 it's still sitting there and i will show you guys this battery is already uh discharge charge discharge charge deeply discharge and charging with this machine here with this cotec machine here has been doing the the, the job as you guys see, I still have the plug in there. This is for my water dispenser right here. This is my water dispenser. You guys seen it on my other videos. So, so energy star. And it has been doing an um, awesome job with these um, two ba batteries. So what I was doing just make sure this device since that primo uh water dispenser is um is uh it has a um a water uh compressor and a heater on it and it drains the battery uses the battery and these are batteries that I, I wasn't able to use before on any load I just put them for only lighting because I, I retired these batteries like uh, I already had this battery like I said three and a half years two and a half three three and a half years something like that approximate so my first batteries and uh, it still works with this desulfator brought them back to life when I was charging them before I had this desulfator, I can feel the, the, the batteries. If you guys uh, listen to my videos, the series I was making there, you can, I was telling you the batteries were kind of warm a little bit. So all the process was going through and the machine was working on it. It has a little fan on it. After a while, it's going to kick in, you know, and goes off. It's, it doesn't take any power that much at all barely maybe a millivolt uh some 
millivolts. Or he's not even an amp. No, he's not even a, a, a even a, a, a watt. How I many watts? I don't think he's taking about uh, even three watt. But the batteries are really, really cold. It's not like cold, cold, cool. And it's not like hot. It's no stress on the batteries. And it has been charging and discharging them and charge them and discharging them, giving them some heavy load with all the heater built in that thing, um, the water dispenser and um, the refrigeration on that thing to cool the water back and forth. And um, everything is working. It maintains. I, I record um, the hours that I can run into this. Remember, these are 255 amp hour batteries. Uh, EGM batteries and connected in series so it's going to be only a 55 amp hour batteries they run for quite a while with that uh, water dispenser because it comes all in and out while um, it stops it doesn't it's just like a, a refrigerator something like that so it doesn't bother the batteries at all so I check the hours it can this thing can go for quite a long time before you know you know very close to uh 24 hours you know before i have to recharge the batteries so these batteries i was i, I said these batteries before for just a 12 volt system which are all wide in parallel to give me a 110 amp hour battery bank so i think it's about time for me to take them back to the 20 uh, 12 volts instead of the 24 volt so that I can have a longer run time on these batteries here. I will show you the batteries soon, but I want to show you again the meter. And uh, this is what um, the charger looks like. All right, folks, you can see the pin is on zero. You know, when I was charging and when I have the battery um, uh, extra, you know charging them i still have some kind of resistance on the battery i think because of this sulfation on the battery was sitting just at this one mark before the zero right there and some oh, at the first uh, attempt was just sitting within the two it's gonna stay there for a long time and you guys can feel i can feel the batteries are warm you know to the touch but you can tell that it's working with the, the the device but um as i've been testing doing all this testing and monitoring that's why it took me so while for me to give you guys um the result and i've been watching this needle and it's still like you guys see it's a 30.8 and the needle is now flat on the zero so it has reached the maximum charging of this uh, battery which now we don't have any resistance built up in this battery anymore I hope so because according to the charger the pin right there that's what it says that zero that means it's charged so if you um, discharge the battery the pin will go all the way back to the 12 or 10 or 8 amps whatever um, um, the battery requires for the charging you know, or to replace whatever uh, it has been out from the battery but this is my result the charger is connected into it and uh, the desulfator is on and uh, you guys um, this thing is working it's not like hard really hard to charge these batteries anymore okay well this is the big one for my battery bank for my 48 volt you guys can hear the device pulsing or whatever is the sound the fun kicks in and out this is the battery extra 0 to 12 120 800 the other one with the two batteries was just the extra 0 to 12 48 400 so this is the biggest one so i have two of these device and it's working it's working for me 
I don't have nothing to complain about it. And um, if someone already bought this device and he thinks or she thinks it doesn't work, you might probably have a, a defective one, but this uh, device is, works. So far, so good with my uh, test and experience with these um, devices. And you guys can see how this device works. And you guys can cross-check with um, uh, regional um, people that already got these devices before. Uh, you started seeing on my channel just in case you can verify with them and you can verify with the key log and you can verify with other people but all these devices or these uh, battery extra works so you might probably have a problem with yours if you need a replacement ask for it but it's working uh, it's a good company and um, I I think they will work with you it's across the pond but it's not hard send them an email if you have a defective one they will can replace it for you but this device works so if you can hear the the fan kicks in and out Yeah, he's doing his job. So far, so good. I'm going to be running those batteries on this Samlex um, 350 inverter, which um, I want to put those two batteries back to service. And I can probably just, just so, to mess around and see um, if I can if I can run it with uh, how long now since um, I'm not going to be using them with the 24 volt so that I can have a longer run time these batteries just feel like they're kind of brand new the way they're working now fairly brand new approximately I'm not saying uh, uh, brand brand new but it has brought the life of this battery you know to the top compare to the life of that battery before so it's going to be working with this guy to test it on the 12 volt and see how long 150 110 amp hour battery would run that's already desulfited with this device here and after that i'm going to do a video on that and i will put back the batteries to service which gonna be um, for my lighting system again, okay? I'm not um, putting them into any of my batteries, but this is just for my lighting, so that I have almost like a brand new batteries again. Well, any modification or anything I wanna do in the future, these batteries not gonna go anywhere. They're gonna stay here and do the job this is the back of the cool tech so he connected with a two gauge wire into it and now i'm going to be firing up again this um, device with the batteries this is going to be the final video or the final test with the battery extra ex02 12 48 400 this is not for the big bank and eh? the big bank is working pretty good all right youtube i already disconnected the charger from the batteries and you guys um see the voltage drops to the 28.4 that shows they are charged these are the old batteries okay here is the machine that's going to run that thing. Wire is already connected to it. And this battery desulfiter 
is doing an awesome job. I don't have nothing to complain about it. I don't have no problem with the company. And um, I'm just giving them kudos. I'm just thanking them for making a, a little nice machine like this. That works for my purpose. That works for my needs. That works for my batteries. You know, they were already junk batteries. But I didn't throw them away. I just decided to save the batteries and use them for lighting. So folks, if you decide to, um, you have batteries already retired, don't throw them away. I'll recommend this battery extra for you to try. It works for me. I believe it's gonna work for you. So this is just um, a messy um, setup here on the side corner, side bench corner here, so that you guys can see. And you guys been seeing the videos. Like this video if you find it helpful. And give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I haven't been a subscriber yet. And... Um, you have a nice day. All right, YouTube, we're back again. I'm going to fire up the device here and see how things go. Hear that? The fan kicks in for a short time because of the surge. And here's the voltage. 27.1. Is working you can hear the, um, the wire dispenser it works I'll show you the LED because built-in LED light there we go folks the LED is on the machine is running thank you so much for watching this is JW Solar USA. Have a great day.